सो है दर हमारे डूइंग दिस इज काली फ्रॉम टेक फैंस यस सो लास्ट वीक आई मीन या फ्यू डेज बैक फ्यू वीक्स बैक फ्यू मंथ्स बैक फोर्टी डेज बैक आई हैव इंस्टॉल्ड दिस नथिंग ओ एस ऑन द रेडमी नोट इलेवन सो हाउ इट इज गोइंग वेल वॉट यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस नथिंग ओ एस वेल यू वुड लाइक टू गेट ऑल द फीचर्स विच एवर यू आर यू आर प्रॉबली गोइंग टू हैव द नथिंग फोन वेल देर इज नो लाइट इन द बैक साइड so it doesn't make any sense you can directly install the aosp with the features on your redmi note 11 as a custom rom instead of just using the port roms well there are a lot of things which i have to uh, mention before you try to install nothing os and use it as a primary device first and foremost the safety net it doesn't fully pass so there are some uh, security uh, related things involved with that you can probably can find a work around or sometimes maybe uh, the gpay and other things directly work but i would suggest that i would always love to use the custom rom with fully encrypted whenever i was using uh, banking apps or any corporate uh, my work related apps with the uh, sensitive information so yeah that is one of the uh, one of the first uh, constraint that i have to tell when we are talking about the port roms because these port roms are exported or extracted by some other device and from there it is internally modified some uh, files scripts and it is along added with the boot and recovery and then it is packaged ba- back as a zip and it was given to a particular devices so to get the taste of it you can definitely use this uh, one but as a primary well there is a always some but so in terms of uh, talking about features we have uh, tons of features like uh, the audio related or any network monitor indicator well the basic and the fundamental things and the ui wise i really really like a lot i even after installing it uh, thought to buy uh, one of the any of the nothing phone just to uh, have it uh, to get an idea of it so the nothing os itself is really a good looking yeah and here there is nothing uh, much more uh, to talk about like that see i like it a lot in most of the situation when i was installing in the first uh, time there was a uh, quite a bit of uh, lag but after uh, the days passes the os get got much more smoother uh, yeah but is it as smooth as the aosp based rooms well there is a uh, again but or if well there are uh, multiple scenarios i ga- have uh, felt some uh, glitches uh, weird uh, recent uh, uh, switchings and uh, there are multiple places uh, where in the instagram when the video clarity is really high there is a uh, pretty much of a good amount of lag in- involved when we am using the instagram and then the audio part also like i would say i don't know whether any features or something uh, enabled in the back end when i was using my tws in that sometimes uh, the volume is really getting low and sometimes really getting high even though the volume is always in full i don't know why it is happening but audio quality wise in speaker audio it is good and there is no uh, much problem with the multimedia consumption uh youtube and other things are working fine only the instagram which are there whenever there is a very much high quality videos uh, as a real i'm watching there is a pretty good amount of lag and the brightness also sometimes uh not uh, fitting well the auto brightness sometimes if i'm opening the device uh, directly through fingerprint the brightness is little bit different and when i'm trying to open it with the swipe gesture uh the brightness is uh different also this uh double tap to wake up uh, or uh, lift to wake up feature uh it is automatically enabled and even sometimes whenever i am keeping it in my packet uh this is automatically uh doing this and uh, uh dialing to uh, emergency call and all which is a little bit annoying so <laughs> that's why i keep my uh phone uh, screen uh showing outside and keeping it inside so to avoid this so these are a uh, little bit uh, here and there uh, problems that you can easily avoid other than that uh, most of the things are working fine also whenever i connect the usb cable to transfer the data even though i removed it 
it is still uh, showing that uh, usb is transferred usb transfer is turned on something like that and uh, fast charger also working fine battery backup wise i am getting like uh, 6 to 7 hours uh, yeah if i use some evo sp based or mi ua it may be a little bit higher one hour higher one hour lesser if you compare it in your uh, term especially i am i just became a big fan of this uh, particular ui i may again uh, use some third party themes or something in mi ui to get the same feel but here uh, it is just implemented really really great and all these icon in the same color it's fantastic also in the home screen customization you have the uh, features like uh, icon pack and uh, different type of wallpapers and uh, even adding the shortcuts uh, here all these features are uh, baked in by default by nothing and one of the major bug that i found is the uh, camera so i was using the uh, g cam uh, g cam go which uh, probably works in most of the cases yeah here is the camera so when i try to uh, take a picture uh, taking picture is uh, not working so both from the uh, front camera and back camera photo uh, camera is not uh, working video recording is working of course so i try to use the uh, open camera which is working uh, somehow fine i don't know why open camera is working and g cam is not working also uh, i did uh, some uh, tests as well which i would like to show so carrier aggregation is uh, working fine i am getting the download speed of uh, 34 to 35 mbps and uh, upload speed of uh, 6 mbps which is fine i tried wild wild rail one well it supported 3d wildlife uh, the score i was getting is like uh, 445 and 2.67 average which is fine i would say there isn't uh, much uh, issue with that and uh, uh, battery backup wise as i said uh, 6 to uh, 7 hours so if you are lucky you will get 7 hours if you are highly using 530 to 5 and a half hours to 6 hours of uh, continuous day one day most probably one and a half day it will go and uh, geekbench uh, 6 we are getting uh, 420 in single core and uh, 1317 as a multi core performance in the gpu rendering i was getting like uh, 340 which is okay -ish. i also have uh, installed the bgmi so we will give we will see the gameplay of this particular one
so yeah that's what about uh, my review so overall security constraint and then the uh, camera and then the uh, some glitches here and there uh, which is what uh, making me to also other uh, it's a port room yeah so which is what uh, making me to uh, not use it as a primary uh, uh, room or something but if you are fine with this uh, constraint you can definitely go ahead and uh, try the nothing os for the note 11 so that's what about uh, this video and i took some uh, break from youtube so that's why it took long time and uh, hopefully the break will continue no <laughs> Ah. Hopefully the break won't continue and I will be posting uh, quite a good amount of uh, video. How many times I promise, how many times I feel the promise, I don't know. But thank you for watching and thank you for 8000 subscribers. So we are growing fast and yeah, quote motto.